All right, so we have our base that's 31 and a half inches by 48 inches, and we started off with this bigger base, but, and then we marked it off to the specified um, links, and we cut it with this saw right here. And then we have our two ring right here, which is going to use as the track and our golf ball. And we have our bases, which is these are these blocks are going to be used in order to hold the uh, tubing up when we do. And we started off with the first part and we're going to have a wooden block like this to start it off to get our first drop and then we're going to have different links of these going out throughout the whole thing based on when the drops happen and when the inversions and the lateral turns are. So that's what we have right now. We're going to start off by using this to do our first drop. So here's our design so far. Um, we have our initial drop right here with our four bases. Um, the ball's going to go down here and then it's going to lead into this. 180 degree turn. So uh, we banked it a little bit so that the uh, ball will have its normal force component and it'll have a, have a horizontal component to it. So it'll help push the ball um, this way for the turn, centripetal force. Okay, so we were having some trouble um, on this banked turn. It wasn't banked enough, so about in this area, the ball, it would want to just roll off because of, you know, inertia, Dr. Steen. So, as you can see now, it works perfect. Well, now we're five, we finally figured out how to get this to correctly bank around and come down, but we did have a few troubles here. So I had to add two more bases to make sure that it would properly come down and then go into our loops. And now the next step in our process is working on getting the loops correct and then into the uh, other turns. So that's about it for now. Okay, so as you can see, we put in our two inversions right here. We kind of spread them apart in order to give more velocity for it to come through this inversion. And now we're getting into our lateral turns and we gave this a slanted bank so that when it came down it wouldn't just roll off the track and it would give a normal force a horizontal component like we did up there. And right now we're just kind of going in our lateral turns to get all of our 900 degrees lateral turns so and we're going to go into slowing down the golf ball so that when it hits the egg it doesn't break it. We finished our lateral turns um, totaling a little over 900 degrees and um, we kind of just let friction do its work here to slow the ball down so that it doesn't hit the egg and I'll demonstrate that here. No crack. Okay, so this is the military coaster. As you can see, we have a military base theme in order to honor our troops. Uh, we have all of our requirements here. We got our initial drop. We got our we have our two 360 degree turns down there. We have 900 degree la, la, 900 degrees of lateral turns throughout the whole roller coaster. And uh, all we did was kind of just paint the base of it brown and put some uh, kind of helicopter down there and some toy figures like military physics figures and now we are going to test it out she looks nice